Che la staye. No songs today, just beauty. You know, you can't always be in the spirit. You've got to grind yourself in the earth. Cha ching! <laughs> I'm weird. I just wanted to actually show you guys this whole amazing little grove that I found. Here is this beautiful old grandmother cedar. And we're in a grove of cedars, hemlock, and Sitka spruce. And these are some old ones here. And there's a little bit of uh, sweet root growing way up on the lower branches. But I can't climb up there because I'm disabled and got a bad back. And if I fall, I'll probably be disabled more. So we're not going to do that. But we're just going to enjoy the woods and enjoy being grounded in the beautiful earth that we have around here see all these beautiful cedars oh my gosh and it's such a natural beauty here we got under oh, you I believe these are the hemlocks western hemlocks and we've got some Sitka spruce some spruce in here but very little very very little very uh, natural wild grove in here. As young, but it's come up from when it was logged through, obviously, a long time ago. But there's these old ones that were left. You know, they gotta be a few hundred years old. And I'm guessing that these old ones here are the seed trees, because this one's a hemlock. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Or a spruce, it's hard to tell. Wait, 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 hold on, let me get my bearings. No. This one here, the left one, is the spruce. Okay. And now the right one is the hemlock. I gotta remember my barks right. The bark is kind of the teller, because it's hard to see the boughs all the way up there. And there's a little bit of bear's bread growing on it, because Mother Blackberry likes to guide me that way. You know... You say you follow the bear and they will show you the medicine. Show you the good food. There's the little more sweet root. Likes to grow up high. You know, that's where all the good medicine is in the high places. Oh man, I'm starting to get into it. I better get regrounded. Okay, just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so here we have a, another one of the old original historic grove trees. Now, this is an old cedar. And you can see it's got a lot of rot on it. And now, some of these stumps in this grove show scorching. So there must have been a fire that came through here too. Now this one was not a timber fell. It was natural fell. So I'm wondering maybe if this isn't... I'm not sure area of a forest fire perhaps but lots of old cedars okay so now the story unfolds definitely definitely a forest fire came through here because we have all these old dead spruce in here that have scorching all the way up and now maybe you can't see but there's these darker trees that stand out in the woods amongst all these cedars and hemlocks and spruces probably harder to see but there's all these darker trees like there's this one here that's right through over here and you can see you know these two and that one now they're dead but they're fire scorched all the way up the top even their branches so there was a hot fire you know that came through here all the way to the tops of these trees and now I bet I could come back through the uh, uh, historic record. Oh, and there's an old mother tree way back there. Oh, goodness. Look at that. But I'll be able to come through here and figure out when the last historic fire was and then do like a 
rot comparison, so to speak. Cause so there's going to be some trees that I can sort of put a date on, um, just by knowing the rate at which cedar rots in the forest. There's always a story to learn. And it tells a lot. Okay, so now we've reached the historic logging district of this forest grove. As you can see, there's a big old one. Look at that big old stump. And a few more in the background. And they've all been clearly logged. So we're in a historic grove but they were smart enough to leave these mother trees I believe that's a Sitka spruce but we'll have to do more positive identification looks pretty sprucey we'll figure it out all right there's more of our sweet root fern yeah it likes damp mossy crooks on the lower overhanging tree branches. And this one's on an old spruce. But it's, uh, you know, it's an old medicine. It's also an old food, sweet food. But it doesn't seem to like growing on dead stuff. It likes to grow on the live stuff that's got a thick moss layer on the lower boughs. wanted to give you an idea of the size of this old spruce mother spruce oh she's big big and old and she's got sweet root medicine growing on her limbs somewhere oh yeah out there she had a big old branch there at one point. Now, if I was a more agile person, I could climb up and get that medicine, but I'm not, so there it will stay. Now, somebody's been a busy little beaver. Curiously, no trash. Curiously, no trash or needles, which you would kind of suspect from this because there is a lot of that around here. A lot of druggies and stuff in the woods, but not in here. What is that? That's just a little lichen that fell from the wood. Huh. Okay. Pretty neat looking little structure though. A lot of effort put into it. On this cool deadfall. Now look at this old cedar. It's got this crazy crook in it. That's a branch that's still alive and has formed its own tree. at that comes off and then goes ooh crazy stuff big old log down there stump okay I was able to get a little bit of sweet root medicine and now you might can see so this thing will work. There's a big root. It goes right down the middle. And it connects this network. So that's one fern. I was able to just kind of pop it off the tree with a long stick so I didn't have to climb. And now I wanted to talk about the medicine path real quick, not to get uber spiritual. This is actually a, another point of practicality. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of bear's bread growing on this here tree and we got a whole bunch of trees in here but people hear about the medicine path and they go oh 
Boy, that sounds so mystical. Oh, gosh, that's such a spiritual thing. And yeah, I mean, sure, perspective matters in this case, right? Your perspective matters, but it's practical. I mean, look at what I'm holding in my hand. This is a medicine that helps with respiratory ailment, sweetens your food, children would chew on it when they had toothaches, stomach aches, things like that. This, is, this isn't mystical. This is like I went to the, you know, the pharmacy and I got a little medicine, right? It's going to help us. It's real. But the medicine path is like a trail. And if you follow it through the woods... The trail's not always visible, you know, you, do, it's, you can't really see it, but it's not mystical. You just got to follow the markers. What are the markers? They're the medicine, and that's why it's so crucial to know the land and the plants and the waters and everything, because it's all part of the medicine path. It all contains something special. So, anyhow, I got my medicine, I had a good walk. Discovered some really old mother trees, grandfather trees, and just otherwise had a good old time getting grounded. So, don't think of your native walk as a mystical experience all the time, because it's just a practical life. And there is spirituality mixed in, but it's not, uh, it's not all that. You know, you gotta take it all in, it's all interconnected intrinsic i keep saying so all right